Hi guys, this is Mike from Mike's Will Me Yourself. I'm gonna show you how to use good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night to use in a demo class or even in a normal class, that would be good, but we're gonna put it like if it was in a demo class, that means with parents and kids around you, and new kids around you. Most of the kids do not know you, so you gotta pay attention to all the kids in a demo class, you will have probably around 10, 12, or even 20 kids. I'm talking about a demo class, that means demonstration class in private schools or in English training schools. Using that good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, you can use this for your demo and I'm gonna show you how to use it. You always have to keep the kids' attention on you. So here in this demo class, I'm not gonna divide the kids into teams. I'm gonna write each kid's name. Even if they are new, they probably do not have English name, but you gotta give them one really quick. Like whatever passed through your mind, it's okay. Uh, you give them one name, if they like it or not. Uh, mostly, mostly if you are used to it, they, they, they will like it. So here we go. Here, always have, when you start the demo class, you can always write their name. So you get, for example, uh, I don't know, uh, Tony. Yeah. Good, okay. Good morning, Tony. Uh, uh, good. Okay. good morning. Yeah, good job, all right. Good, so I give him five points. Trying to have them having points right at the beginning when they're saying hello to you, okay? If you have some kids not paying attention to your class, it will be easier to control them by erasing their points, all right? So then after that, you go, you write all the different kids' names. I don't know what other names. I'm not gonna spend two hours with name, these names, okay? And always tell them hello, 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 and then you give them points and they will be happy. They'll say, yeah, mom, you see, I got points. Yeah, all right. So then you start teaching your good morning or good afternoon or good evening and whatever. So you can just go on and draw. Draw very quickly, very simply. Kids will still love it. But when you draw, you will ask them, you will always keep on talking to them, okay? For example, hey guys, look, can you tell me what is that? Wow, can you see that? Look, what is it? Can you tell me what is it, guys? Oh, wow, you see? Yeah, that's a house. Yeah, this is my house. Yeah, my house is very small, yeah. Mm, yeah. All right, good, now, look, tell me, what is that? Oh, what is it? Do you know? Yeah? No? You know? What is that? Yeah, son, very good boy. All right, I give you ten. I give you another five points, okay? So you can go on if you want even to draw a flower, a mountain, whatever you want, okay? But remember to be fast. Your demo class has to have a tempo, okay? So here we have, oh! So you draw the sun and you tell them, yeah, you know, when you are sleeping, then suddenly you uh, wake up, yeah? What must you say to daddy and mommy? You say, good morning. Some of them will know, others would want know, so you can say, yeah, morning. Good morning. All right, so then after that you can you can tell them. So in the morning you wake up. What do you do in the morning? You, yeah, brush your teeth, okay? If they know. Sometimes they don't really know and it's the beginning of the demo. They're looking at you like, what is he asking? Uh, so it's, they won't answer your first question uh, really quickly. So you gotta do actions, okay? I have no tools in here. I, I'm not using flashcards. The best teacher is always the teacher who have a great body language, a good feeling with the kids, and they will follow you. So flashcards and all that materials um, for this demo class, you don't really need them. Just a marker, a whiteboard, and your TPR, body language. Okay, all right. 
which is TPR means total physical response. It's a very important tool that we have as ESL teachers. It's very important. So here, you get, so you got, yeah, in the morning, what are you gonna say to daddy, mommy? You gotta say goodbye. Oh, you can go even like that, right? So they will, they will understand. Goodbye. No, 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 say good morning. Oh, okay, good boy over there. Yes, it's gonna tap. All right, so you can write in here very quickly. Good morning. Every time you write something on the board, read it at the same time. Don't let them, don't be like silence. Silence is, is gonna be dangerous. Kids are going to make, are going to, uh, to start a talk or stuff like that. So don't be silent. Don't be too much silent, okay? So we get, yeah, good morning. And then you can go with the warm up. I call you, everybody, please stand up, stand up, stand up, follow me. Here we go. What is it, son? It is morning. It is morning. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, everybody. Let's do some exercise. So you go with that. With them, you can repeat it a couple of times. Then you go on drawing, and then you can draw an arrow going up like this. And here you can draw uh, another sun. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Well, that's a <laughs> that's a cool sun. Yeah. No, he's he's not cool. He's hot, in fact. So that's why he's got sunglasses. Yeah, so here the kids can guess, all right, that's the morning, yeah, so how about here in the afternoon? What do you do in the afternoon? Yeah, afternoon, what do you do in the afternoon? A, B, C, D, E, F, G. So you can say, learn English, to go, learn English. Okay, so, uh, so we say good morning, right? Then we go right here, good afternoon. Yeah? Good afternoon. Always right. It's always good, but keep on talking to them and say good afternoon. Alright? Alright, so what do you do in the afternoon? So you learn English. Yeah? Okay? Everybody please stand up. Let's go. Follow me. Say it is afternoon. It is afternoon. Good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon, everybody. Let's learn English. Let's learn English. Okay, you go on with that warm up. You ask them to stand up, then you, know, you sit down back. You can even, if you want, you can even go start again from good morning. That will help them to remember. It is morning, good morning everybody. Let's do some exercise because kids will have problems saying exercise. So when you when they're saying exercise, doing the action, just correct them, make them repeat for a while, say exercise, exercise, reward the ones who are good. And if some of them are not good, you can erase some start, they will be better after that. Okay, and then we after you finish with that good afternoon, everybody, you go on with this and, oh, look at the sun, what's going on? Oh, oh, it looks like a little bit sleepy, yeah? He wants to sleep. The sun is going down, right? So it's, is it morning? No, is it afternoon? No, is it evening? Oh, of course, you cannot say that. <laughs> well, anyway, yeah, why not? You can say. But let them uh, guess. So you say, good, some of them will say, good night. Or I say, oh, yeah, not bad, but it's not good night. It's when you go home. You say, it's, you say, goodbye, teacher. Let's go home, all right? So it's in the evening, right? So you say, good evening all right yeah i say so you write again good evening good okay so you have the kids standing up again and asking them to do the action it is you can start from the beginning it is morning it is afternoon it is evening good evening everybody good evening everybody let's go home let's go home all right and then Good, so then after that, 
you can go on like that and draw, draw a kind of, well, a funny moon. Oh, you can ask them, what is that? Hey guys, look at that. What's that? Do you know? And what are these? Hmm? Can you tell me? I'll say moon and stars. Or oh, they will speak in the language, in, in their own language, telling you what is that. But no, you're gonna say, yeah, moon. You say moon. So you can even write, you can even write moon. And here you can write star. Or you can say stars, of course, because we have three stars. So make sure they understand one star. Oh, one star, another star, two stars. Wow. All right. To make them understand plural form, of course. Or right, you say one star, two stars. Okay. Right. All right. So you say, then you can go now and tell them. So we say, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Then, time to go to bed. So you say, it is. So you go to bed and you say, it is night. All right, so you say, it is night. It is night. Good night, daddy. Good night, mommy. Let's go to bed. Let's go to bed. So you go on with that, with that uh, warm up in here. Okay, remember, it is night. It is night. Good night, daddy. Good night, mommy. Let's go to bed. Let's go to bed. Then you can go on with the kids. Then you go on with everything. Good, uh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night. And then you can pretty much play a game. This is the spelling game that you can find right here uh, on the card right here. You can find it. And that will be all for today. That was Mike from Mike's OBSL. I hope that will be very useful for you. I'll see you in another video. Bye.